doing sales? It really doesn't uh, do most Canadians a lot of good. We'll tell you how new mortgage rules could be affecting Saskatoon's housing market. Historic victory. Alabama's Democratic candidate beats the highly controversial Roy Moore to take the state Senate seat. The reaction that win is generating tonight. Another above freezing day in Saskatoon, but those days are numbered. We'll tell you why and when we're looking at a risk of freezing rain. You're watching Global Saskatoon. This is Global News at 10. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. We begin tonight with a developing story. That's right. A plane carrying 25 people has crashed shortly after takeoff from Fond du Lac. Now, Fond du Lac is a remote fly-in community of less than 1,000 people in the northern part of the province. It is 800 kilometers north of Saskatoon. For the latest on the crash, here's Angie Mellon. Shortly after 6 tonight, the Fond du Lac RCMP responded to a downed aircraft just one kilometer off the airstrip. Police say that there were 22 passengers on board along with three crew members. They are reporting multiple injuries at this time but no fatalities. The Stony Rapids RCMP along with the Royal Canadian Air Force and the search and rescue are coming to assist. For more information as it becomes available, you can head over to globalnews.ca. Angie Mellon, Global News.